Hi guys! On the previous tips and tricks for the Bamboo Lab printers video, we talked about the dry filament feature on the X1 series. If you haven't seen the previous tips, check the video description below for the links. In this video, we will show how you can easily troubleshoot connection issues with the X1 series and P1P 3D printers. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, as you all know, all Bamboo Lab 3D printers can be accessed remotely through the Bamboo Labs cloud and using Studio Slicer or smartphone app. However, for that to work, the printer needs to be connected to the internet and with a working connection to the manufacturer's cloud. Have you ever had the problem of not getting a working connection to the printer and not knowing if the cause of the problem was with your network or with the manufacturer's cloud service? There is a simple way you can test if the cause of the problem is located on your internal network, router, internet service or the manufacturer's cloud. If you have an X1 or X1 Carbon, you can go to the fourth tab, then Network. In there, you can see if the printer's Wi-Fi is on and connected to your network. If the printer is being recognized by your router, you should get an IP address and in that case, it will be displayed here. So far, this tells us that the printer is connected to our internal network, but there's a way to test if the printer can reach the internet. To do that, you click on Test Network. In here, the printer will test the connection to the router and also the internet. For the P1P, there is no Test Network button, so we cannot run it but we can still check if the printer is connected to our internal network. If you get an IP address here, you should be connected to your router. If you have a good result with this test and still no connection, there is one more thing you can check before you can rule out the cause to be on your end. Grab your smartphone and open the Studio Handling app. Here, you need to make sure that the printer is correctly binded. It's not uncommon to get the printer disconnected and still appear on the slicer as offline. Ok, that's it. If you followed all these steps and still can connect to the manufacturer's cloud, then probably the cloud is under maintenance or something and it's currently down. In that case, you should wait a while before testing again. With the cloud down, it's still possible to start a print on the printer. For that, you have two options. Either run it, using the internal network only, or using the memory card to transfer the files from the computer to the printer. Ok guys, don't miss our next videos with more tips and tricks for your Bamboo Lab 3D printers. We will see you guys next time. Bye!